Hello everyone, this is uh, Razvan. Today I would like to present um, a new fountain pen. As you can see from the box, this is a fountain pen by Diplomat. Diplomat is a German manufacturer of writing instruments. And this is my first fountain pen um, in my personal collection from Diplomat. And I wanted to share my experience um, using and testing out this fountain pen with you. So the fountain pen comes uh, in a box, relatively big box. It is protected by this cardboard sleeve where we have the logo of Diplomat. We have this flower, abstract flower, which may be a water lily. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have the name of the producer, Diplomat, and since 1922. Same thing here, with a link to their site. Big logo on the site. We open up, and we have a um, the real box, which is actually very interesting and nice. We have this cover, which is, I think it's almost aluminium, if not uh, a type of uh, very, quali very high quality plastic. Um, I think it's some kind of a plastic actually, but it's very nice. Again, we have the Diplomat logo on it. We have the, the cardboard box itself. This be, uh, this pen uh, this be, uh, this bed pen rest, very nice again engraved with the the diplomat logo. This also removes, and here we have the warranty and two cartridges, two ink cartridges. So, yeah, very nice presentation for this particular farm to plan, which is a Diplomat Excellence A2. So, the second generation of the Excellence fountain pen. Um, I like a lot this fountain pen. Um, I've been using it for the last two months <clears throat> of course I've chosen the the black with gold finish I'm a sucker for this type of um, fountain pens you know office like business like fountain pens that's that's my thing um, the fountain pen looks quite elegant it's very sturdy this is a good workhorse fountain pen that you can use on a daily basis. Um, it has a beautiful nib, both in terms of appearance, but also in performance, writing performance. It writes flawlessly. It is a steel nib, but it writes even better than some of my um, gold nibs uh, that I have in my personal collection. Very nice. So this is an example of what a steel nib can do if it's properly, you know, um, produced and um, and modified to to provide an excellent writing experience. So let's take a look at the design. First, we have the classic cigar shape. Um, this is a full metal uh, fountain pen. So the body of the fountain pen is made out of metal, and this metal has a high quality multi layered. As diplomat says brilliant lacquer finish so we have shiny finish not a matte finish and multiple layers of uh, black lacquer which feels quite nice I would say in the hand um, you can really feel that this is a very well done finish in lacquer it really gives a premium feeling when you hold the pen in the hand 
Okay, we have the classic cigar shape. Um, the finial of the cap has the Diplomat logo on it. It is a plastic insert with the logo. And then we have this part which is metal connected to the clip. All the metal parts of the fountain pen are gold plated so that you are aware, at least for this particular model. And then we have a big beautiful clip, very nice clip. It's it's one of the you know the the elements that uh, takes apart this particular fountain pen versus others, and which is it, uh, another bonus. This is um, full metal spring loaded clip. It's very easy to operate, as you can see. Some of the people have complained about this. They say, okay, if you put this in your um, shirt pocket or um, you know in your in your coat pocket, it may maybe this doesn't have the necessary force to hold uh, the pen. From my experience, that was not the case. Also, I don't know if you're able to say, but here around here there are some um, let's say like some small tiffs, some ridges at the end of the clip which are designed to hold on the fabric actually so yeah I quite like the the clip also the design is very interesting there is a there is a small tear at the end with a hole actually the hole has the form of a tear uh, a teardrop or a drop of water let's say like that very nice we also have a cap band, a big cap band, um, and in on the cap band, hopefully you'll be able to see we have engraved with a thinner font um, the name of the manufacturer, Diplomat, and then since 1922 underneath it, and then on the other side we have made in Germany which is quite clear and then we have the body which is tapering down toward the other end which is uh, a very simple uh, jewel no decoration nothing just the plating the fountain pen has a good uh, heft to it um, this is not a light fountain pen again this is a metal fountain pen it's not made to be light the the total weight with the cap on is 48 grams and without the cap we have 29 grams so if you don't like heavier fountain pens this may not be for you i like it so the the cap itself is weighing 19 grams so quite heavy this is a push on type of cap and it's very easy to take out from the section to to pull it from the section but in the same time it is quite secure as you can see I mean you I need to force it in order to to make it move which is not the case so this is also a, another thing that they've um, launch with the second generation of excellence they are saying that the fountain pen has a soft sliding click closure system and i can i can tell you this is really very nice and smooth so yeah and also secure we have an internal lining in the cap you cannot see it because it's it's black it has different uh, but it is there, I can tell you. And this also contributes to, you know, <clears throat> to protect against ink starvation if you don't use the fountain pen for longer periods of time. We have a beautiful section, one of my favorite um, designs of sections. So we have a cone-shaped section. Around here we have in diameter around 11 millimeters 
and up to here around 12 millimeters. So quite a, quite a good size um, section to hold. Two centimeters in length. You can um, you know you can keep the fa the fountain pen with ease. Um, and the the whole the whole weight it's around in the on the middle of the body, so it it makes it very comfortable to to write with the fountain pen. We have a small uh, metal ring in here again, gold ring, and of course at the end of the section towards the nib, this particular part, which flares up. And then we have a beautiful number six nib, which is produced by Jovo in Germany for Diplomat. And this also was one of the the points that attra uh, attracted me to to Diplomat and to this particular fountain pen. I know that they are testing um, each fountain pen nib that Jovo is producing for them. And they are making sure that all of them are writing flawlessly. And this nib writes, writes beautifully. We have the, the dual tone nib. So here we have silver finish and then we have the gold finish, which is again gold plated. The logo of Diplomat. We don't have a breed, breeder hole, which is interesting, in the nib. And then we have again Diplomat since 1922. And the size of the nib, which is of course for for me it's a medium. That's my 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 favorite size in terms of nibs. We have um, a plastic feed, which has for for me at least a familiar sight. Usually this is the the type of feed that you can find, for example, in a in a, in a, in cheaper Chinese fountain pens like uh, Jinhao. X450, but that's only because they've copied from, from other producers like Diplomat. And this feeds, um, as you'll be able to see in the writing sample, has been designed to offer a medium flow, a medium ink flow. This is not a wet writer. If you like a wet writer or super wet writer, this is not the fountain pen for you. And also, um, um, you know, you need to choose your inks very carefully. Um, I've tested out several inks before I've, you know, I found the, the best inks for this fountain pen. Just because, you know, the way it was designed, both the, the nib and the feed, it only allows for a medium um, ink flow, which for me it's fine. So I prefer a medium to wet flow. Uh, ink flow, so it's fine. Just so that you are aware, this is not a wet writer. The body unscrews from the section. Here, how it looks like. We have metal threads on metal threads. The fountain pen comes with a ink converter. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Diplomat is using the international standard, which is quite okay. Also something interesting, they've added a rubber ring here above the section, most likely um, to ensure that the converter and the body is very well isolated from air. And this is quite effective, I can tell you. So I had this fountain pen inked up for about one month. And I've been using it from, you know, some um, two weeks, and then it will stay for two weeks, not used, and something like that. And it wrote every time, without an issue. So very well protection against ink starvation. That's for sure. Okay, um, the cap can be posted, and it looks quite nice, as you can see. You know, we have this business-like um, design for the pen but 
there is one caveat to this the fountain pen becomes um, quite heavy on the back side here because of the cap so I've tried using it like that for um, long writing sessions and my, my, my hand began to hurt so I don't recommend using it with the cap posted for long writing sessions um, you can use it for quick notes to sign stuff and that's it and for long, long writing sessions the best way is to use it without a cap on again uh, the body without the cap has is 29 grams this is not a light fountain pen and the cap itself it's 19 grams so that you are aware so it can be posted um, it posts securely it posts deeply as you can see we have quite a a deep post here it looks fantastic but is it is back heavy let's compare it towards other uh, fountain pens I have here a Lamy 2000 so you can see and a Lamy Studio all blacks all black the limited edition from this year so in terms of length it's pretty similar to the other fountain pens we have um, the body it's a little bit girthier than the Lamy 2000 and the Lamy Studio and one last comparison in terms of the push on cap mechanism I have here a cross bailey standard I need to make an effort in order to remove the cap so I need to push and pull in the same time just to remove the cap this is the way this particular fountain pen uh, sliding mechanism was designed while with the excellence I can do it with one hand so they really improved this particular part I understood that the other generation was also hard to, to remove but they've improved it now in terms of cost this fountain pen is at maximum for what you can pay for a steel fountain pen so the, the price it's around 150 euros 160 170 even um, I think it is worth the money even without a gold nib I don't think you really need a gold nib at least my fountain pen this particular fountain pen writes beautifully flawlessly I don't need the gold nib on it you can buy there is a version with a gold nib of course which is much more expensive but from my from my point of view you don't need to do that the steel nib writes beautifully so i don't think it um, you know it is worth to to go for a gold nib but if you want a really a gold nib you can you can take it so i think the the price justify it this is the limit the maximum limit for such a fountain pen and I think this this is a solid fountain pen this is a, a fountain pen that was made to be used on a daily basis that should uh, you know hold the test of time um, that you can enjoy for a long long time really so very nice um, thank you for your time and for your patience it took a little bit uh, more time this time and we'll be in touch for the next review the writing sample will be available in a separate video thank you goodbye